problems of desert living better than cacti. There are almost 2,000 different species of them. Capiopo cacti grow as clusters to provide shade for each other. Barrel cacti swell into rounded forms, which keeps their surface area to a minimum and so reduces evaporation. And creeping devil cactus search for water by crawling over the ground an inch a decade, absorbing its rear in order to extend its front. Cacti have spread across the deserts of the American West, from Arizona all the way to Mexico and beyond. In South America, the ice-covered peaks of the Andes act as a rain barrier, beyond which lies the world's driest desert, the Atacama. In the desert world, water thieves can come in many forms to exploit even the smallest chink in a plant's defense. One of the strangers travels within the gut of a fruit-eating mockingbird. These are the seeds of Twisterix, a kind of mistletoe. Their goal is the water inside this hedgehog cactus. Using the spines as anchors, the seeds start to germinate. Each produces a long probe with which to try and locate the cactus's skin. For most, that's a stretch too far, and they perish. But for this one, the cactus's surface is within reach. It clamped onto it with a special sucker, and then waits for darkness. At night, the cactus opens its pores in order to respire. Oxygen goes in, and so does Tristorix. Once within, its tissues spread throughout the body of the cactus, sustained by the precious store of water that they find there. Then, a year later, it breaks through the cactus's skin and bursts into flower. and pollinate them as they do so. And then, to complete the cycle, Tristorix produces hundreds of white, eye-catching seeds ready to be carried away by a bird to invade another cactus. The Karoo Desert in southern